Back in the 80s, BMW started the adventure motorcycle genre with their GS. Since then, quite a few manufacturers have jumped into the scene. But still, the GS maintains its top spot as one of the best motorcycles in its class in the form of R1200 GS. Right from the start, the GS was a bit unusual motorcycle, and even to this day, it maintains that quirky character. Today, we are going to take a look at one of its unusual features, the front telelever suspension system. In a normal motorcycle, you will have a set of suspension forks at the front, which will be either telescopic or a more advanced upside-down fork. Nowadays, most of the high-end adventure motorcycles have upside-down forks. These upside-down forks are capable of offering a great performance on both off and on road. It also provides great level of flexibility to tune the suspension according to the rider's need. In a motorcycle, these forks have two functions. One is to guide the wheel and the second is to absorb the undulations on the road. Almost all of the modern suspension forks are very good at this task. However, they have a downside. We all know that under hard braking, the weight of the motorcycle is transferred into the front causing a massive brake die. This reduces the rake angle of the motorcycle and it can make the motorcycle a bit unstable. On a sports bike, this effect is minimized by one key factor, which is the center of gravity. Lower the center of gravity, lower will be the rate of weight transfer. And we know that the sports bike have a pretty low ground clearance, giving them a lower center of gravity. But in the case of an adventure motorcycle, the odds are against it. To tackle the varying terrain, Adventure motorcycles need to have a higher ground clearance, and to absorb the imperfections on the ground, the forks are on the softer side. Due to this higher ground clearance, the motorcycle has a higher center of gravity, which results in a higher rate of weight transfer during braking. To make things a bit worse, the adventure motorcycle often fitted with a larger diameter but relatively skinny tire. So, under hard braking, the front fork compresses massively. This will effectively reduce the rake angle and the wheelbase. Coupled that with the larger diameter tire, the chance for the front to wash out under hard braking increases. BMW addresses this issue with their telelever suspension system. This system consists of four major components, a set of specially designed front forks, a shock absorber and a wishbone type telelever arm. This arm supports the shock absorber and connects the forks to the chassis. The front forks are of telescopic type, but unlike the regular telescopic forks, the female part here is much longer. It does absorb some shocks from the ground, but its major function is to guide the wheel. Most of the dampening duties are done by the shock absorber. This allows the BMW to use a smaller diameter stanchion, decreasing the unsprung weight. In this telelever system, the stanchions are pivoted in a spherical bearing directly beneath the handlebar plate. Under hard braking, the telelever arm moves in arc form and also moves the steering pivot forward. Since the forks are pivoted in a spherical bearing, the movement causes the fork's rake angle to increase. As a result, the front section of the motorcycle responds with minimal dive upon sudden braking. By eliminating the brake dive, the telelever system also provides superior traction during hard braking. This setup helps to reduce the bending force acting on the forks and improves the ride quality. But there are also some downsides to the setup. First of all, the telelever system is complex. When comparing to a normal suspension fork, the number of linkages and joints are much higher. Due to this complex arrangement, the motorcycle lacks the front end feel. Another downside is the aesthetics of the motorcycle. With this suspension setup, it is impossible to mount the radiator in the center, making the telelever system virtually impractical for sports bikes. So there you have it, the working of the telelever suspension system. If any of you guys watching this video owns a GS or any other adventure motorcycle for that matter, please leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. Also, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Or if you loved it, please consider subscribing to the channel. See you guys next time. Ride safe.